Hey guys, hope everyone's keeping safe and well out there. In front of me today, I've got the TC Electronics Vibra Clone. For a really, really long time, I've been searching for the ultimate Leslie style pedal. Now, there are loads of great ones out there on the market. And, you know, if you start going down that rabbit hole, you can end up spending a lot of money. The Vibra Clone came along at just the right time. I was looking for something quite inexpensive that wasn't a big pedal. There's a lot of them that take up quite a lot of real estate on the pedal board. This one spoke to me because number one, it was under 50 pounds. And number two, it was quite small. So it just fitted the need at that point in time. I got one. In fact, I actually got two because I like it so much. And it went on the pedal board and it's lived there ever since. Not only did the affordability of this thing speak to me, but also the fact that I'm a big fan of TC Electronics in general. I own and use a lot of their pedals on a regular basis. So this one was, you know, it was the one that I sort of gravitated towards because A, it was in my budget and B, I just love TC. They're a company that I have a lot of time for and I will always check out their gear whenever they have something new. So the fact this one was so cheap, it just caught my attention straight away. Now, once you get past the price point and you get onto the sounds, this is actually a really great sounding pedal. It's actually, you know, dare I say it, my favorite Leslie style pedal. Out of all the ones I've tried over the years, this is the one that I keep coming back to. And yeah, I just can't get enough of it. I love the simplicity of it. It's, you know, it's in a solid metal case. It's got two knobs and a tiny little dip switch and it can do so much. So on the front of the pedal, we've got a speed knob, which controls the speed of the rotations and a drive knob, which simulates the speaker in the actual Leslie cabinet being driven. So you can actually get a little bit of overdrive out of this and use it to boost or to push your amp in combination with the actual speaker rotation sound. And the other really cool thing is this little dip switch here, which says Corral in the up position and Tremolo in the down position. What you heard at the start of the video was the Corral voice. So here's how that sounds once more. We've got the drive and the speed set to 12 o'clock. I now put that into the tremolo position we're going to get a bit more of an extreme effect so the speed is going to go up a little bit and we're going to get the impression of a faster moving speaker and you're actually going to hear the volume going up and down as if we we're using a tremolo pedal the speed knob changes how fast you hear the rotation of the speaker so on the corral voice if i set the speed all the way to zero I'll strum a chord and increase that so you can hear the range of speed available. And on the tremolo voice. You can also get a lot of cool tones from the drive knob. This will push your amp into a slight natural overdrive. So here's what the drive sounds like all the way up on the corral voice. That's the perfect tone for that sort of Stevie Ray Vaughan kind of tremolo sound that you hear on tracks like Cold Shot. I now flip that to the tremolo side with the drive on full. Here's what we've got. So here are my favorite settings on the pedal. I love the tremolo voice with the speed on about halfway, so straight up the middle at 12 o'clock, and I love the drive just about two o'clock, just so it pushes a little bit. I like using this as, not as a lead boost on its own, but I like kicking it on in solos. So I like it to have a little bit of extra volume because when you have the tremolo effect and it's pulling the volume in and out, it can get lost a little bit. So I do like to push that drive just slightly. To be honest, it sounds great whatever you set it to, but these are just the settings that work the best for me in my rig. One of my favorite Leslie tones is the Clapton tone that he uses in the Cream Song badge. 
So I always like to try and capture a little bit of that in my own playing. I find on these settings it also works really well with overdrive. So here's how that sounds with an overdriven sound. <laughs> There you go, there is the TC Electronics Viber Clone. That's my favorite Leslie style pedal, and it's super affordable. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get great tone, it seems. This thing has got a ton of great sounds. You can do all those classic retro Leslie sounds, and you can drive them super, super hard with the drive knob. Yeah, it's fantastic. I love it, and it's been on my board since the day I got it, and I think it's gonna be on there for quite some time. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button if you did, and I will see you guys soon.